Hello everyone. Well, I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be looking at today is uh, my little uh, pre-bonsai ficus trees. Uh, it was about a year ago when I potted these and if you guys remember these were no more than cuttings with uh, some roots on them. They've done a fair bit of growing since then especially this summer so far you can see the new growth with a lighter colored green this one here in particular the trunk is really starting to thicken up pretty quick yeah so they're doing pretty good um, I've already got one out here. I decided because it was a year ago and uh, you know they grow pretty quick. Not just the tops but also the roots so I wanted to pull them out and make corrections to the roots now for the first time since it's been about a year. Now I've got the first one out and I'm kind of assuming the other two are going to look very similar to this one here. So you can see here we do have a tap root, a fairly thicker tap root that's coming straight down on the bottom. That's what I really wanted to tackle was mainly that and then we'll see what else we got going on here. We can just begin by cutting that tap root off. We're going to get the pot out of the way here. Okay, so if I get some of the roots out of the way here, you can see that the trunk just comes right down here and basically just continues right into our top root. So we're just gonna come down here and cut it off. I've also got another little root that's coming down beside it so we're gonna just take them both off. There we go. Now other than that, we've got some, uh, we have got some really good radial roots here to work with. So that's really good. We've got one root that's really kind of sticking up too far. I'll get my smaller scissors out. We're going to take these these ones that are a little high here, we're going to take those off because we don't need those because we do have some really nice radial roots around the bottom here where, where I did trim off the, the uh, tap root. take off some here that are sticking straight up.
Well, the rest are looking quite good. There's really, uh, really not much left there now to correct. You can see here on the bottom that it was really only the tap root and one other smaller one that was kind of coming off the top of it there that was growing straight down. Other than that, it's looking really good. So, it's a really nice thick one over here. Well, we're going to pot that back up and I'm going to carry on with the other two. I'm assuming that they're going to look quite a bit like this one. If I see anything that's uh, really different than this one here, or if I think it's really interesting that uh, you guys should see it, I'll put it in the video. Until then, I'm going to carry on, pot this back up, and I'm going to take a look at the roots on the other two now. Okay, well, here's the second one. Um, it is different from the first. Um, we, we might as well just go through all three of these together here. You can see here that we've got some corrections to make. We got a couple of nice roots to start with at least a couple of larger ones here so I think we're going to try and start things off on this plane. So the first thing we're going to do, you can see here these almost look like a pair of legs and a knee over here. It's like they got, like he's got his knee bent and his leg coming down here. Pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so we still have a smaller tap root on the bottom, but it's not uh, it's not quite the size as what the other one was. So we're going to come in here and cut that off. We have a couple growing straight down here at the side. We're gonna take that out. We'll take this one off. This root comes out kind of nice and then it kind of takes off downward so we'll take it off right up near the top here. That one's kind of growing down so we'll just We'll just get rid of that right now. These scissors are kind of big for fine root work, so I should uh, get my smaller ones. Before I do that, I'm just going to cut this one, one other larger root off. You can see here where it comes out, and then it really takes off down here. So we're going to come and cut that off up here. There we go. Well, I guess I won't bother getting my other scissors because we're we're basically already almost done this now anyways. Just a couple little wee ones that are growing kind of straight down there. We got one here that's kind of growing off to the side. This one's a little bit too high when we look at the plane that we want to be on. There we are. And that's it for that one. We made some good corrections right now. So I think we'll look at it in a couple of years. The roots would have uh, filled the pot by that time for sure. 
but at least we don't have the great big tap roots on the bottoms of the trees to deal with down the road. So I'm just only hoping that we get some better radial roots and of course we're going to get a lot of other feeder roots on the existing roots which are still good. Okay, I'll well, take a look at the other one. Okay, here's the third one. <laughs> I really didn't think that we would be going through all of these trees because I thought they would be maybe fairly similar but they're really not they just get more and more interesting as we go along here um, yeah this one here's got some really interesting roots this over here this one that's sticking down is actually not a tap root it comes out the side and then comes straight down here This one over here comes out of the side and ends up coming down. Looks like a carrot. If we look under here, you can see we got one coming from near the top of the root plane. It comes straight down and curls around this other root here that looks like a carrot. So we got quite the root system going on here. Yeah, this is why I wanted to get them out of the pots this year and take a look at them before I continue on before things would just kind of get bigger and get worse okay well let's take the roots off the top here so we can kind of see what's going on and we can kind of decide where our root plane is going to be. Well right away we're going to get rid of this one here. It's growing up at a very weird angle. Same with this one. Okay now Well, we definitely, yeah, we definitely have some decent radial roots to work with. And find out where this one's coming from. It's actually coming from underneath our, growing out from underneath our root plane here that we want to work with. We're just going to cut it off at the bottom. That's that one that was growing straight down. Now we'll we'll cut this one off. That's curling around our larger one here. This one's not too bad. I think we can work with this one. It was kind of growing down a little wee bit, but well, we'll see what that looks like in a couple years. Another one growing straight down there from from that root.
I think I'm going to end up cutting this off because right now it's not too bad, but it's going to end up crossing over this root over here, so they're going to maybe end up tangling with each other, so I'm just going to cut that off now. We got one growing up on top here. There we go. We're going to take that off there. There we go. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll pot that back up and uh, we'll look at it. We'll look at it in about a couple years. We'll take one year at a time, but I think I'm going to let it go for, for two years and take a look at it at that time. Well, I was only going to make this a uh, short clip but uh, yeah, the roots just started getting more interesting as I started unpotting them and cleaning them up. So I guess uh, I guess this video is just going to be about my small pre bonsai ficus. Well, well, there they are, all potted back up again. I think for the next two years I'm just going to keep these in these smaller pots for now. Uh, the only thing I did do, this one was really starting to get tall, quite tall, so I just I just cut him back to about the same height as the other ones. I could put them in bigger pots, but uh, when I go to bring these guys in in the winter time, I'm not going to have the room for them if I put them in bigger pots at least for this year so and possibly next year also I gotta work on getting myself some more shelves and more lights yet over the next couple of years but uh, well, these guys will do fine over the next couple of years in these little pots anyways I got lots of time <laughs> so as long as you guys are willing to Hang in over the next number of years and watch the progression of these guys while well, you eventually see them in bigger pots. But for now, for the next two years, this is where they're going to be. Well, that's it for today, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.